Why, hello there, my name is Freckers, and welcome back to Let's Play Life is Strange. Uh, I'm in the dormitories now, and I gotta find my room. Welcome to Black Hill. Alright, where am I? Max! So, where, where's the you are here? I don't see a you are here. But I'm on level two. Am I already on level two? That's the thing. No boys allowed. Taylor is a slave. What? Is this a Vortex Club or a Victoria Club initiation? Truly pathetic. Do I care about the board? I'd love to make a photo collage of every person who've posted these. Don't be afraid, be ready. Young Guns training. Even under 21, you can st still learn how to operate fireworms. From Arkansas to Zvrodravka. Young Guns uses fun, safe, perfect plastic replicas. Stop by our bunker for a test demo. These times, Hemingway, ignore big dogs. Young guys and gals from Blackwell get a 20% discount. Man, people Ooh. here are merciless. <laughs> Safe, not sorry. No matter how much you like each other, one slip-up can change your life. You have a choice. There's nothing wrong with watching. For more details, go to please wait at praisebjc.org. Graffiti. See Kate's video for proof. Can you hear me? Yes, we all can. Please respect your floor and neighbors. Be quiet in the halls after ten. Thank you for listening. Okay. Okay. Let's go to my room. I'm done dicking around here. Max's room! Hooray! Slate. Nothing here. How sad. I didn't write anything. I have nothing to say. Okay. Teddy Burr. Guitar. Home sweet home. My favorite cocoon. Ooh, pretty. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Hey girl, I barred your drive so I can watch some flicks while I study. If you need it back, just track me down on my room. Okay. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. What do you want, Ma? Happy birth- oh wait. Max, your principal sent me an email saying that you told some tall tales of Black Belt. Blackwell honor student. It is true. The principal said that this was a serious false charge. That he's worried you're telling stories. Call me as soon as possible so we can talk about this, Mom. Great! So, not only did I tattle, the guy knows, and it's been denied. Awesome! Fucking wonderful! Good! I made all the good choices. Telling the truth gets me nowhere! Instant film. Oh, for my... Kodak. Mirror. I'll take a selfie in my mirror. Why not? Big ol' flash. Wouldn't take it with the other person's graffiti, but... Uh, power strip. Look at the photos. Oops. The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. Okay. You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Awesome. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Let me out, Julian. This is so stupid. Answer, you wuss. Ugh. Let me in. Hey, Juliet. Is everything you are cool? Ridiculous. Oh yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my if boyfriend. Out, Ouch. Scream. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Ah, shit. Well, I can just rewind time. It's Patson, I guess. Juliet Pats. Juliet Patson. That was truly sad. 
Thanks for your concern, Max Caulfield. By the way, Juliet Watson. Okay. Hey, Juliet, is every- Oh yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room. Juliet Watson, you be nice. You are ridiculous. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Uh, of course I do. Thanks. I locked Dana in because she was sexting Zach, my boyfriend. Unbelievable. If you don't let me out, I will scream. How do you know? Victoria Chase. You know her. You could say that. But why would Dana go after your boyfriend? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. Oh. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext. And Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything. But I bet Victoria did. I know the proof is in her room. Let's see, where is Victoria's room? Welcome to Black Hill. Okay, she lives across from me. Okay. Dude, he could be just out tossing a football. I don't know. Enter. <laughs> Clothes, shoes, gazette, leaflet book, missing persons, laptop. Yes, Victoria has the best retina screen laptop. That's not even a Mac. I'll give Victoria props for not posting my photo. And for this nice shot. Boom! This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. How do I print it? Oh, print email. Man, I'm not a good person. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. <laughs> I thought she was gonna be right on the other side of the door. Oh, hi! <laughs> Juliet, read this. I didn't even read it, so I don't even know what proof I'm giving of her. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No. But I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zack has to say about Victoria. Ooh. You set me free. Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Thank. Can't move. There we go. Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. Must protect my precious <laughs> so Max never has to chase it down again. That was a very bad Smeagol. I'm not going to do it because I always end up blowing out my mic when I try. Kadink. <laughs> Don't mind me waiting out here forever. I love this parking lot. I can count all the cars. The more it takes, the longer I take. On my way. Bye. Wee. Alyssa. Fuck this shit. Hey, hey. I feel like Alyssa and I should be better friends. Damn. I better rewind. Oh, that's the. Oh no. Hold up. Warn. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Ooh. Now that's what I'm talking about. 
I actually helped somebody. Max, that was awesome. Thank you. That was close. Jock assholes. If I was a member of the Vortex Club, they'd never pull that. Would you want to be a member? You're smart. We should hang out more. Now I have to finish this stupid book. Okay. I'll let you continue doing your homework. Did I go out? Did I come in this way? Yeah, I came in this way. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Hmm. I'm gonna intervene. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us. I mean, it this labels is me as a troublemaker, but business. oh well. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate, but now Officer David Dickhead is after me. Maybe I should rewind and mind my own business? Hmm. See, I, I know I'm picking the wrong choices, even though I'm picking the right choices. This game is gonna bite me in the butt. It really is. I'm gonna be crying. I I, I swear it. I know it. It's gonna happen. <laughs> Put some hurt on it. Okay. Look. I'm glad I stepped in that time. Can't stand to see people being bullied. Look both ways, then run over to my bruh. Uh. I don't get it. How could Zack and Victoria do that to me? Hi, Juliet. How are you doing? Oh, hey, Max. Sorry, I'm still screwed up. Sorry you had to find out about Zachary that way. Or anyway. Better sooner than later. Now that skank Victoria won't be laughing behind my back anymore. Have you talked to Zach yet? Mr. Badass Football Hero is such a chicken shit. He said he sexted Victoria as a joke. Ha ha. Super funny. I think Warren wants your attention. He usually does. Hang in there, Juliet. See you around, Max. Graffiti. I wonder how long before Samuel has to repaint that. It's hard. What? Aww. Retarded. Sorry, that took me too long to figure that out. Come on over here. Eh, Please. Poor Samuel. What? Chill. What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. <laughs> No problem. Check out my new wheels. So cool. new. <laughs> Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. 60 You're in miles? You're time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. I bet. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. Really? Really? I wish I would have known. You probably could have raised a Kickstarter fund just for that one image of her covered in paint. Had I known that. Anyway, Victoria took down my photo, so that drama ended well. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Movie bo Oh. <laughs> there's, there's just a, a butt. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Oh no. Oh no. Dang it. 
Okay. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, thanks. You had some cool shit on there, from Akira to Twilight Zone, which seems apropos today. I consider myself a pop cultural pirate connoisseur. That does sound better than thief. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. Seen it. <laughs> Seen it. I was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there. He's got Twilight. Can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires too? <laughs> so you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. What does that mean? Not at all. Not at all. Sensitive is good, unless you're a pushover. You have hip taste and a quick mind. Thanks for noticing, Max. The right girl will, too. If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. Hold on a second, I just realized that my whole screen moved. I need to talk. I need to talk to somebody. Just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one uh. of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal, now. Answer me, bitch. Hmm. Anything to say, huh? I told him the truth, a student had a gun. No, you told him I had a gun. That's why he dragged me into his office. And did what, give you a stern lecture? Nobody, nobody lectures me. Everyone tries though, <laughs> they try. This kid's fucking you psycho. You should talk to somebody, Nathan. Do not analyze me. I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh man, you're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude! Hey! Leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore Wait, in the bathroom! No. <gasps> Max? Chloe? No way. You again! Go! Go! I got this! <laughs> Get in, Max! Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to Just run! Just slam the door Nobody. on me! Nobody! Hmm. <laughs> is that like Elvis or something? Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up. It's- it's her graffiti! This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Hopefully nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt, and you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? I guess. <laughs> I guess. It was cool, but I felt kind of lonely, out of my league. I would think you'd fit right in with the art school hipsters. Right. You look like the cover of hipstergirl.com. <laughs> At least you're still a smartass. That's why I'm here. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. I 
I don't know. Course, it's one of the best photography programs in the country. And my favorite teacher, Mark Jefferson. So you came back to Arcadia oh, for Mark. a teacher, not your best friend. <laughs> don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. Give me a break. I was going through changes. Like you. I guess those changes included dumping me from your life. That's not true, Chloe. Bullshit. You thought you hook up with all these art pricks in Seattle. Didn't happen, though. You're merciless. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliche geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. that one in a while not everything changes except my camera has officially taken a shit my step douche has a boatload of tools maybe you can fix it in my place I need very specific tiny tools bird alert my stepdad has a fully stocked garage and he actually is a tiny tool welcome home Max how did she not re I guess because they changed so much the tattoos and whatnot she didn't recognize her in the bathroom but still it's kind of weird Come on in, don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home, shit, home. Nice. <laughs> My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill-out zone. My step fear makes sure of that. Come <laughs> in and close the door. Put on some music while I medicate. All right, so I'm going to leave it here. Thank you very much for joining me. Check out the annotations and videos of other things that I've done. Uh, comment, like, subscribe, all that other fun stuff in the YouTube down there. Hopefully I'll see you in my next video, and my freckly face is out of here. Bye. Oh my god. I guess that guy fell and just kept going. So I've got a ladder. What the hell was that?